thing is that a lot of people have been losing out on their jobs right in in a crisis like this and a lot of people have been with people who they don't like in in a long run i i wouldn't say this because uh, like i've heard a lot of experiences and the cases of uh, sort of these small fights right i have been hearing in all my relatives that has gone up by a lot so what's your piece of advice to people in times like these like in particularly in times like these when everything is going on at such a um, at, at such a slow pace and people do not have their jobs people have to stay with people who have they haven't stayed for a long time what's your single piece of advice to them see what we are telling them is be, see first of all lot of people are worried about the fear of corona okay then is the uncertainty how long is it going to last so when these things are there you know the emotions run high and there are bound to be clashes so what we are telling them give each one of you some personal space let that person be alone in a room alone without anyone disturbing just give them some time to you know recapture their thoughts look into the do introspection and do things like that so basically we have to tell them first of all reassure them that yes this is not a perpetual or a 100 year disease secondly science is working over time there would obviously be some cure that would come out there would be vaccines that would come out so you would be going back to school college or to work and you know the only thing is try to be tolerant in these times and bear with each other and help each other correct like the, everything will everything passes by and this will pass by too because like the good news is that the mortality is even lower than 0.7% which is lesser than the chances of dying in a car accident so yeah, see, but lot of people see the hype that is created lot of people don't understand this see you open your tv there is corona you open a newspaper it is corona you open anything on a laptop it is corona 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 mm mm-hmm. yep 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 100% so 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 you, the brain is being bombarded with so much of information some correct some incorrect some have no basis but how does one discern which is correct which is not correct and which is all nonsense yep. and uh, arun so there is going to be a lot of anxiety even after the pandemic ends uh, as in people will resume to their normal lifestyles and or uh, people will go to their offices their schools and uh, deal with stuff which they used to deal 6 months back like they're not in that particular uh, zone how does someone deal with that because people have lost their jobs they'll be looking out for jobs when everyone will be in the same pool people wouldn't have jobs people uh, like pe- just everything would be going back to life and it it will be basically a uh, uh, so it it there has been a disruption and now everything will get into place right that that um mo- momentum of everything getting into place how will that affect people and how does someone deal with that kind of anxiety see there is enough uh, talk just now going on that like currently if you look all chest physicians and physicians are busy maybe a neurosurgeon is free maybe someone else is free but the minute this wanes off and uh, it is going to be the most important part that is in the world that is going to be is the mental health fraternity they are going to be overloaded because you know just now the person is going through an initial shock as this shock hits over he, they will realize what is the short term effect what is the long term effect when they start realizing the long term effect then they will start seeking a lot of help and a lot of help will be required to be given and uh, we are envisaging that maybe we may have to even double our capabilities at the health front we have already started thinking of it